Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft beta world tour. Now, you might be wondering, what is that behind me? Well, that happens to be a outpost that I have been working on for a long time now. It's supposed to be a naval outpost where the naval officers of this world protect and guard the shores of this tiny little village, as you can see here. And um, yeah, this the goal of this uh, world update is just to show you guys what's been added over there and you know a bit of a update about me and my life and what I've been up to and well, it's been a long time since I've uploaded but let us make our way on over there quickly there's two docks there's one dock here and there's another one on the other side the zombie for some reason yep here we are we make our way on up these steps I'm probably gonna build a small boat or a ship here but uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Not too sure. Uh, over here will be the entrance to this naval base. And here is where the officers chill and play cards and do their gambling and such like that. And then over here is the watchtower that I will go up in a second. And then here is a ladder that leads to a balcony where other officers come and keep watch over this area. Look through the little windows to see if any pirates or bandits sail the shores. But let's make our way on up this long stairwell. Added a couple of windows here for natural light. For the most part, it's lit up by torches. Up here, I uh, definitely did not add any, add any any windows yet. I plan to. I just feel like these stuff I tend to do towards the end, but. Uh, it's a very beautiful view up here. See just the huge mountains and hills that roll up and down this little world and uh, just the vast ocean that you can see that travels throughout, likes to flow and creep. There's another view of the base as well as some more land in the distance and stuff. Very, very good area to come up and look at and grab screenshots here a few times just to look at everything that I have built. Okay. Now that we have toured this building, uh, we will go across to this building through this little path that I made. And in here is the dormitory where a lot of the people who work here come and sleep. I've added some chests in here just for me to put my supplies and a bed for me to sleep in. Nothing too special. And then over here is a small storage room underneath the stairway. If you go on up, the first room over here is where the beds are located. They have one shelf for them to share it all, then one clothes rack, as long as one chest, and a bookshelf for all of them to share. And up here, you go up this fancy spiral staircase up to where the head honcho sleeps. Now, this is reserved for the captain, the, the boss of this naval base. Has his own private room, his own uh, closet and everything all to himself. Doesn't have to share it with the other sweaty and dirty uh, naval officers. And if we make our way on back down, we'll find ourselves in this area, no intersection. If we go to the right over here, we have a small little waterfall. I thought this was a nice addition to the gray color scheme. A lot of gray, and I think that makes the world very gray. Very uh, not bright and vibrant. So seeing a little bit of green and some blue really adds some spark to this world. And this building, this purpose, uh, its purpose is to be a, a study lounge or just a area where people come and converse and they can hang out and talk or study the new techniques on warfare and stuff and then we go on up here here's the larger more important eating lounge where more secreted things are kept hidden up here a lot of things that are kept away from the villagers and then over here a little small tiny little mini garden i haven't added anything in there yet but i will soon in here is another watchtower that i have not really furnished or any 
added any windows into. But yeah, uh, the villagers like to go back and forth and they drop off equipment and food and supplies to these uh, naval officers. And these naval officers, they buy it off of them and in in, in, a, in, a, in a relationship, they uh, also get um, some money back from protecting the villagers as well. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but you know what I mean. Uh, over here is the armory, the equipment room. Where they store a lot of their things and they train in here. Here's the front desk where the person who is on shift that day or night will keep track of who comes in and comes out. They have a clipboard and they, uh, you know, check people in and out. And once they're cleared, then they will go through this door. Lead to this hallway that uh, leads to this little storage room where they have most of their artifacts and um, equipment and belongings and they have bookshelves lined up with all the information and history and then if we continue on up these stairs another area a little lounge for people to come and just rest and sit if they feel like they need some privacy and over here is the stairway that leads up another watchtower which we will go up because I think that a very nice view for this one for some reason i have added glass into i don't know why i did but yes i did for this one and uh you can't really see too much there's nothing too fanciful at the moment but we'll perhaps extend and build over there even more as time comes but there's a little uh spire over there that someone mentioned in the video and i'm gonna do a video with that but just anytime soon so keep a lookout and we could see a little bit of the outpost if you look through that window. Okay, so we finished that and uh, another stairway that leads up here to the training room. You can see we have a training dummy with some arms and a nice little hat and to wear. This is a... Uh, Heavy bag, a punching bag, uh, a UFC graded punching bag that even the best of the best have fought up here and trained up here. Here's some racks and shelves and equipment for you to put your barbells and your dumbbells and uh, kettlebells and whatever bells that you have. Over here is another storage equipment room area. I haven't really thought of an idea, so typically when I don't have an idea, I just make things into storage areas because uh, I don't know why. That's just one of like the easiest things to furnish with. But if you have any ideas, well, let me know in the comment section below and we will do our best to change it and head on to it. Over here, here are the two last buildings that I have not completed yet. The smaller one here, I plan to turn into a granary where uh, you know the villagers come in and they drop off their items and resources and whoever's working at the gates over there will travel all the way over here a little cart and they will put them in here and store them in here why because this building here this large building the largest one i believe this is a cafeteria uh, i haven't thought of how i want to proceed with this building i thought about making a long table where all the you know, people who work here can come and sit down, the workers and the naval officers can sit down and share a large meal together. Near that, or we'll have tiny little separate tables where they can all sit down and we'll have a um, cafeteria, a little kitchen in that back room over there where they come and uh, line up just like in school. You know, they get sloppy joe or, I don't know, teriyaki chicken, whatever you get at school, whatever's good. And then we'll have a staircase that leads up to a balcony. I think balconies really uh, bring a good addition to any large builds and just makes the makes the interior a lot more roomy, a lot more cozy. Then we'll have a third floor where the top secret, top secret people go up and they have a large map that they could, you know, discuss discuss their strategies and you know information and just things like that but yeah that's the tour of this naval base that i have been building i guess the thing that takes the longest time is mining all the cobblestone and turning them all to turning them all into stone as well as the glass but while we're here and i have some glass i should go and actually fill up 
the top part of this watchtower. Let's make our way on up here. But um, anyways, it's been a long time since I have uploaded. It's mainly due to because uh, I've been trying to finish up my undergraduate degree, which I have, and I have graduated uh, with a bachelor's. But now I'm currently pursuing a master's in user experience design, or in short, UX design. And uh, I'm enjoying it so far, but you know, semesters is, the semester has only started. Took another year of school to continue, so wish me luck. But yeah, a lot, a lot of the reasons why I haven't been uploading is due to school, due to summer activities, and due to probably the largest reason being just very burnt out, you know, from, um, you know, making YouTube videos and thinking of ideas. And uh, I needed a good break, you know, from this channel, from content creating. And I think a large part that plays into that is just being a small channel being a small channel on youtube is very hard it takes a lot of time that's something that i still need to sort of wrap my head around and start to accept and make peace with myself that things aren't going to blow up overnight you know that for the most of us who are average joes who are typical people we can't expect for things to blow up overnight a lot of it takes time um and a lot of effort and energy so perhaps to those who are able to do it but for me it's definitely taking a long time to do and it takes a toll on me because you know this channel if you didn't know it used to be a um phasmophobia channel it used to be a horror game channel and uh it had its fair share of success so uh the way the state of this channel at the moment is definitely a, a very far fall from grace it's no longer what it used to be and uh it, it it sucks sometimes but it is what it is and the reason why i have decided to sort of stray away from that path is because it just wasn't a very sustainable lifestyle for me to continue to play um those kind of games and <clears throat> pretend to be someone that I was not you know I think that that was probably the biggest issue that I had was most of the people who played phasmophobia or um, created content around those things they had to put on a face you know like their content creating face or their missing one log god dang, I guess we go back and, you know they had to be someone else and I, I just can't do that props to them for being one of them because right now they're being they're very successful you know and grats to them because they worked hard to get to it um but that's just not my style i think that i want to be genuine and if i enjoy a game then i enjoy the game and the audience can tell when you enjoy the game you don't have to pretend that you have fun when you're playing the game and recently i've tried to go back and play some phasmophobia and see how i feel and it's just no longer like same anymore I, I just don't have it, it'll be always a special place in my heart it's no longer the same let's just say that and i couldn't pretend to be someone that i was not and so i've uh rebranded this channel a few times it was a variety game channel it was a phasmophobia channel semi planet zomboid channel minecraft channel but i found that the game that really stuck out to me the most that i came back to time after time always Minecraft. Minecraft will always hold that special place in my heart as the game that I come back to time after time and even now I still do so uh, <clears throat> I rebranded it to Minecraft in particular um, beta Minecraft old school style Minecraft I have like a bunch of shorts that I just make of old build styles or decor or interior designs that you know have existed throughout the history of minecraft and it has lead to has led to where we are now um so yeah i uh, plan to continue to grow and to continue to sort of upload and um at least once a week you know at least upload a video a week and make you know content like this gearing towards a more um 
not a much older audience, but an audience who enjoys the nostalgia, an audience who likes the slower paced gameplay of the world. It's a slower paced gameplay of Minecraft as compared to a fast and highly edited, oversaturated version of the game. I think that um, beta Minecraft just brings out brings out a lot of nostalgia and it reminds me a lot of better days and it, it, it makes me feel like i'm actually enjoying the game you know with the challenges that it poses it's simpler times i think that it's just hard to explain but you know what i mean if you tried it that you just remember the smells, the taste, the feelings, the old videos, old memories, simpler times, you know, when when the world was much, much more simple. You know, the emergence of the internet, the popularity of games and certain channels, when people used to actually be genuine, I guess you could say. And the, the content creators that you see behind the screen and the voice that you listen to, there were also people that had hopes and dreams who were also... Uh, capable of thought just as much as you were no longer are they like the people of today that are just you know uh like certain youtubers you know what i mean i don't want to call out any names but you know what i mean you know who they are right? and they know who they are too who do it for the views who do it for um the clout but i think uh for me i just want to share my, my experience with all of you and my thoughts and keep this preserved of the the sea of time uh keep a memory of myself keep my existence preserved through 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 these videos i guess you could say you know, it's a very we started to get very deep and philosophical is that too much guys maybe it is let's chill a little bit all right yeah that, that's basically kind of the goal is to share my laugh and share my joy and share my laughter and share my uh experience with everyone because at the end they were all we're almost all the same for the most part <laughs> with a few minor discrepancies but we shouldn't let that stop uh each other from growing and becoming better people but yeah it, it's definitely hard uh, as a small content creator but at the same time the silver lining is that you build such a a loyal and and small tightly knit fan base that actually care about who you are and understands that you are also another person you know who doesn't have to have an explanation why they've been gone for so many months because they understand that people have lives people have things and things can change you know and so um i really appreciate all of you who still continue to stick by and support me through all of my endeavors and my channel and um Especially for those who've been here since day one, as my channel has blown up, and those who actually have really been here from day one, which I don't think anyone has actually been here from day one, aside from myself and my like other three uh, channels that are subscribed to my channel, my shelf. You know, no one's gonna. If you're not gonna support yourself, no one's gonna support you. But yes, um, thank you all. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for continuing to. Uh, click on these videos and watch my channel but um to keep things short uh, i will be trying to upload more videos and come up with more and more entertaining ways to to keep you guys all engaged especially in this small little niche that i have a small little niche that uh people are trying to grow in and i i hope to see you guys try this version of the game as well and let me know what your thoughts are but uh, let's uh, let's wrap up this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below about what you think. And uh, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in another week. Goodbye everyone.